for double cast on, also called long tail cast on or continental cast on. Um, you need a long tail. You want to measure at least a foot for 20 stitches um, in worsted weight yarn. Um, that's really modest. You, re you really want to round up. So you don't want to run out of yarn. Um, you can always do like 10 stitches and then take them out and measure how much tail you needed. If, and, then, and then you can more accurately estimate it for a larger project. But anyway, we'll just start with a guess. Um, you want to dangle the tail yarn from your thumb and the working yarn from your index finger. Grasp them with your lower fingers. And then come under with the needle and press down with your finger and pull it down. That's all you need to do to start. You can put a slip knot around the needle to start, but it's not necessary. Come up under the left loop, then over the right loop, pull it through. Release and tighten. We'll do it again. Up under the left loop, over the right loop, pull it through, release and tighten. Up under the left loop, over the right loop, through, tighten. So up, over, through, tighten. Up, over, through, tighten. That's it. Um, con this method of cast on makes a nice stretchy um, edge for ribbing. Um, it's great for stockinette stitch. It's easy to pick up stitches from. Um, it's not too tight. Um, it's a great method and can be very fast once you get the hang of it. And it also creates um, an already knitted row, which is really convenient. So it saves you a whole row of knitting. Um, so if you're working on with stockinette stitch on straight needles, your first row will be a purl row, um, or the first row you work will be a purl row because you've already done a knit row by this cast on. If that makes sense. So here's a bunch of pearl nubs on the back that this cast on's already created. So you're on the pearl side of the work when you start. So that's double cast on.